Principality of Monaco, Government, Unitary Constitutional Monarchy, Ruler, Louis II, Area, 0.98 square miles, Population, 24,000, Military, Non-existent. Monaco was originally a Greek colony under the name of Monacos. The name comes from the veneration of the demigod Hercules. They said that Hercules constructed the ancient passage between Spain and Italy. Roman Emperor Julian the Apposite does make mention of the construction of a road and development of a city at Monaco. Shrines dot the entire length of the road, and on the rock of Monaco itself, a temple was said to have been constructed in honor of Hercules. After the Gaelic Wars, which saw the entirety of Gaul coming under Roman scrutiny, it was the last time that any temples to Hercules were mentioned. No archaeological evidence has been done, but due to the rocky terrain of Monaco, any further excavations are unlikely. The area was taken over by the Ostrogoths, who lost it to the Romans, who in turn lost it to the Lombards, where it switched hands between them and the Franks for nearly three centuries. The constant raids into the area near the completely depopulated the region, and by the 11th century, the Ligarians were the main culture within Monaco. The King of France agreed to have Monaco become a protectorate in 1641. Between 1793 and 1814, Monaco was occupied by the French. The Principality was re-established in 1814, only to be designed protectorate of the Kingdom of Sardinia by the Congress of Vienna. Monaco remained in this position until 1860, when, by the Treaty of Turin, the Sardinian forces pulled out of the Principality and the surrounding county of Nice was ceded to France. Monaco became a French protectorate once again. Prior to this time, there was unrest in Menton and Ricobrin, where the townspeople had become wary of the heavy taxation. They declared their independence, hoping for annexation by Sardinia, which France protested. The unrest continued until Charles III gave up his claim to the two mainland towns, which was some 95% of the principality at the time. These received a France in return for 4.1 million francs. The transfer and Monaco sovereignty were recognized by the franco manganese Treaty of 1861. One. Eight years later, the Principality stopped collecting income tax from its residents and was only able to do so due to the casino that was within the country, meaning that it was a very variable location for the rich to live. World War I didn't affect the small nation in any real way, as they are far from the conflict and not suited well for a spite network or a black market to flourish. In 1918, France officially guaranteed Monacan independence. In 1922, Louis II became the Prince of Monaco. While he was known to be strongly pro-French and had been in military service with Philippe Pétain, Louis II kept Monaco out of the war, largely because the majority of the population of his principality were of Italian descent and were pro-Italy. In November of 1942, Italian troops invaded the small neutral country and set up a public administration. When Italy signed an armistice with the Allies, German troops entered Monaco's borders and Monaco was home to about 300 Jews prior to the German occupation, and was hosting an unknown number of Jewish refugees. Some of them were deported to concentration camps. French troops returned to Monaco in late 1944, restoring the independence of the small nation. If you'd like to learn about the other principalities during World War II, click here and here for the videos about Andorra and the videos about Liechtenstein. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.